Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet 2. My name is Nessa and today we're gonna take a look of this little cutesy habitat which will be in the bear house but will hold no bears basically. So it will be for the red crown crane, the Japanese macaque and then we're gonna add a single mud in here which would be the golden snoop nosed monkey which is one of these kind of weird animals that you don't really believe exist um but it's quite cute so we're gonna talk about it today but first of all i just want to remember or sorry remind you that this saturday will be the uh, final zoo tour here in pinehood zoo again pinehood zoo is pre-recorded from before the newest dlc though my voiceover is recorded after so there is a few things i might have done differently if i had had all of the building blocks that we have in the new game again i can't be sure of that but it's just is there something where you think why didn't she use that and that then it's because i probably didn't had it at this point but on the other side I have had my mods back then, so again, maybe I still would have done it this way. I will just remind you that this week have been completely mod free, not building wise, but uh, I haven't made mod videos this week. I'm gonna go back to it from next week, so we're gonna have mod videos Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and we're gonna have speed builds Wednesdays and Saturdays. And if you don't think that is enough, <laughs> then basically I also have a second channel where I play Pokemon and I have this concept called Relaxing Sundays where I play uh, Let's Go Eevee and the idea behind it is basically to just relax, play some games and you don't have to play Pokemon to join in, it's just me talking about whatever I want to talk about, uh, sometimes it's Pokemon, sometimes it's I honestly plan to uh, it could also be a little bit of harry potter or what just yeah what i just want to talk about it's more like come and hang out and relax a little bit so if you feel like that's something that might is for you then please feel free to uh, join me over there uh, the channel is nisimon and uh, i have a link on this channel side so you can go in there and just click on it uh, because I don't think I'm the only one with a channel name of that name, so just... I think the other channel is a horse channel. <laughs> so, so yeah, if you, if you find horses, then it's the wrong channel. I love horses, but um, I... Yeah, I'd rather play Pokemon, to be honest. <laughs> and just another small thing before I get too much into it here. Thank you so much to everyone who likes my video, who subscribes to my video, and who comments on my videos. Everything helps my channel blossom and grow, basically. And I'm so shocked by everyone who have interest in this channel, so thank you so much for doing that. And without further ado, I think it's pronounced, <laughs> let's get into it. So, as you can see here, I already overcrowded the habitat and that's because I thought like 15 of a monkey isn't that much. But if you take 15 of a Japanese macaque and 15 of a golden snoop nosed monkey and a 15 of a red crown cream, then you get a lot of animals. So don't you worry, I uh, removed a lot of them at least before the cinematic, so it will make more sense there. I also gave them some climbing later, so some of them will be climbing also, which gives a little more space. Uh, I just was afraid that the habitat would look completely empty, which clearly wasn't a valid fear at that time. But this video will be pretty short because I already built the house yesterday and if you feel like you're cheated like this is a very short videos and normally I put two videos up on Thursdays don't you worry we had speed balls all this week and uh, yesterday I had like two speed balls uh, so I honestly doubt that you watch all of it already if you did uh, thank you but wow how do you have the time um, so yeah, I also think about maybe making a real small speed build for Saturday and again, Final Suit 2 Saturday also. So yeah, 
enough to do this week, I think. <laughs> I hope. And if you have any complaints about me not doing enough, please sit, tell me in the comment section below because I frankly don't believe that. But let's talk Golden Snoop Nose Monkey and the golden part is of course because of this golden color. Keep in mind that golden on animals is a wide variety of orangey reddish brownish color but here we actually have a lot of the colors because they have the more brown on the back the more orangey tones on the belly and the more reddish tones in the face so we have a lot of different colors then they have this blue skin which you can see peek through in the face and on the fingers and the toes which gives this very very huge contract you can also see that here in Zoopedia if you sort of uh, picture real fast so they look so weird the snoop nose part is even weirder because it's because if you imagine that this start of your nose if it we take it from the top between the eyebrows then they have a normal nose like the first inch or so and then it's like it make a very very sharp turn upwards so the nose holes becomes very very big compared to the nose and like the tip of the nose holes is all, uh, placed up between the eyes basically so this nose is very weird also according to animalia.bio you can tell the males by these swallow parts they have in the edge of the mouth which should be reddish uh, I hadn't noticed on any pictures I saw that they had reddish areas in the face. They had this blue skin. Uh, so I just went to the Google and looked at a lot of pictures. I wouldn't call them red. Uh, they are appearing more red tone compared to the blue skin. You can see it's like uh, the lips are totally swallowed in the upper lips. Uh, itches. So that's clear to see. But I wouldn't call it red. But compared to the blue skin, it seems a little more reddish, clearly. Uh, it's just red is a wide span of red colors. And unlike a lot of monkeys that live in these giant parts of the world, well, this golden snoop like most monkey still live in a big chunk of the world because China is quite big, but they only live in china where a lot of animals i think most of us figure that even animals we come uh, find to africa still africa is a lot of countries so they live a lot of places they live primarily up in the forest of the mountains in this temperate cold climate zones kind of in between those two climate zones so even though it can't be like roughly hot like 25 degrees celsius it's still like it's not vacation hot or anything like that but it is a living bowl area but it can also be a uh, very very much freezing through the winters of the years and uh, therefore they actually adopt some of the same behaviors as we have with the japanese macaque and Japanese macaque, everyone who plays the game has seen them tons of time, but they are this grayish monkey with long fur and this very red skin where the golden snoop nose monkey have this very blue skin and then this big reddish butt cheek, which I think is the most recognizable part of them, to be honest. They do live some of the place, same like biomes and climazones they both live again in temperate biomes but where the golden stoop uh, nosed monkey live in the cold the japanese macaque live in the tropical but they also live in the forest mountains and mountain forest and therefore they also live quite cold places through the winter in the winter both the japanese macaque and the golden snoop nosed monkey live in groups led by a single male uh, about 20 to 30 individuals but in the summer the golden snoop nosed monkey gather into bigger groups that normally is as large as 200 individuals but can be as many as 600
hundred where the Japanese macaque stays in those smaller groups. I know 20 30 individuals is big groups compared to other animals, but for monkeys, they are quite usual. However, the golden snoop nose monkeys groups are divided into smaller family units, which would be one dominant male, not the dominant male, but a lizard dominant male, his harem of about four females, and then their offsprings. So that would be like their close family, but they will still be a part during the summer of this bigger up to 6,000 individual groups. They can both swim and therefore have a big comfort in these hot springs in the areas, even though it's not the Again, not the same country, but same mountainous variety area. And both of them bathe in these hot springs to keep warm. Though I think the Japanese macaque is more famous for it. It is something both of them does. And they also sometimes find food there. For food, they both gather the same way, but no species this, sorry, eat the same. Japanese macaque are omnivores, so they will gather food on the ground, like fallen leaves, or fallen plants, everything, or even lift out food for them by the peoples in the area, but also climb trees to find food up there, where the golden snook nosed monkey are only herbivores, but they will still, again, climb trees to find food and find food on the ground, fruit, bushes, uh, and so on. So even though the food source isn't exactly the same, they gather the same. Again, Japanese macaque also eat like birds, eggs, and so on. The numbers of these two monkeys are very different, where the golden snook nose monkeys' numbers are all the way down to 15,000 individuals. They are clearly endangered according to the IUCN red list. When we look at the numbers of the Japanese macaque, they have almost a hundred thousand individuals more and this pushes them as a least concerned animal that doesn't mean that it's only one of these species that need help but one of them needed more like right now where one of them need the support to don't decrease over time anyway i left link for all three animals in this habitat i know i only talked about two so please if you want to go read for yourself it's in the description and enjoy the rest of the cinematics and i will come back afterwards
Okay guys, so we are here and uh, yeah, I think it ended out a real good place. Uh, I think I put a little too many animals in here, but I have limited the number since then. So it should be more balanced now. Um, yeah, uh, as always, remember this is pre-recorded for before you can use DLC. So therefore, um, a little bit older video, but I hope you want to see it anyway. Uh, you know the drill guys like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video I really hope to see you again and play in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys